Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos doing a quick pros and cons video worth it or waste on the new LG Tone Actives. Um, had a lot of time to spend with these. Uh, went running with them, went a couple of trips with them, and definitely have some good feedback to share on what I like and didn't like about them. So let's jump right into it. So first thing um, you will know right off the bat, these are not meant to be a replacement for the LG Tone Infinim. Um, this is a different line altogether. This is an active line, and because of that, there are definitely some differences here from the Infinim line if you're familiar with the other premium LG headphones. So, one of the things, and this is a, a pro I really liked, is that the earbuds are retractable, but there is no button to retract them back. It's just a tug, and they automatically snap back in place. So, I actually liked that. Um, compared to the the button style because I did find that um, with the Infinim um, set you basically you always have to reach for the button once you take them out of your ear so it's really nice to not have to reach for that button to literally just be able to take them out of your ear give them a tug and then they retract right back up so thought that was a really nice pro I think people are gonna really enjoy that um, next pro I'm gonna say is this little piece right here which looks a little bit funky if you don't know what it's for but basically this makes it so these almost never fall off your head and one of the issues i had with the infinim line is that it doesn't have anything that sort of goes in the center so when i would go and work out if i ever wanted to do uh, put, uh sit ups or if i ever wanted to like use a weight bench and lay on my back they would always fall off. Well, because of this little piece here, it stops them from falling off your neck. So this little guard right here, the headphones open up a little bit, but it always keeps it right on your head. And so uh, for those of you that are active, uh, you know, working out or running or different things like that, these will just about never fall off your head. And, and that was a big pro. And I think that's a great selling point for these headphones. A um, couple of smaller pros, the earbuds are really nice, they're um, really small, fit in your ear, ear well and they don't really fall out too often so um, I do love that, that's really important for me in headphones. Uh, when I you know, like to jog, it's really irritating when you start to get sweaty and they fall out so I didn't really have too many problems with that and so had to throw that in there. The next thing is style. So all of the different uh, versions of this headphone have a different type of color on the side here so there's like a neon there's an orange i want to say there's a blue as well um so you know it's kind of cool I, I love it when there's options and they come in different colors um it's important because everyone doesn't want to have the same color. People want to fit it to their lifestyle, and so it's nice to be able to choose. Now, I'm going to use this to segue into the cons section, and one of my cons was that they don't make a black version. I wish there was a version where this part was all black, and I say that because I like to wear these not just when I work out, but at work. I drive actually for a living, visit stores, and it's nice to be able to have your headphones on and they not really draw a lot of attention to themselves. And that's why the Infinim line are so cool because they actually fit right under your collar and people don't even really notice them unless you're on the phone. And so that was sort of a pain point for me is I, although I like the color in a, you know, you can't wear them all the time because it, sometimes they just stand out too much. So that was sort of a con for me and again to each their own some people may like it i personally didn't feel it now to play devil's advocate it's nice to have headphones that have color on them because they're easier to find so if they're on a table if they're black they may blend in a little bit more but this neon color i guarantee you will be hard to miss so losing them should not be a problem for you so i'll throw that out there move on to uh another one of the cons i had which is that the button selection is reduced. So on the Infinim line, there's a play button, there's a, uh, a button to pick up phone calls, there's a lot of uh, separate dedicated buttons. There's an on-off switch. For this line, they really condense things down. You basically have four buttons on the whole headset. So there's two right here, 
okay and um, these two basically control our volume here so um, it's volume but it's also a track button so if you hold down on it it will actually jump you take you backwards or hold the other one that takes you forward so long press for a track and just tap it for volume up and down so um, that's going to be on our right side on the left side you have some other options so this is power so power is in the back sorry about the focusing here we're going to get this right for you there it is okay so in the back you have power and right here you have a play pause button so when you want to pause your music that's your option and also if someone calls you that's the button you tap to pick up the call and to um, reject or to pick up the call and hang up the call is going to be from that one button right there so I'm not a big fan of this and I'm going to tell you why uh, it causes you to have to think more when you're using the headphones now think about it this is an active sport line which should be less thinking it just works okay but for me I found it to be slightly irritating when I'm running and I want to change the volume or want to change the song um, again because there's not one dedicated button for volume like on previous models I have to remember okay the right side is for volume and it's also to change the track do I press it once for volume or do I do I long press it for um, for volume or do I press it once to change the track and do I hit it twice you know it it definitely causes you to have to think more because the buttons are condensed again you have four buttons that basically run all the functions on the headphones and because it does so much it becomes a little confusing and I don't know some days I was a little irritated by it because another thing that happens is I actually put them on the wrong way once because they really feel almost the same way whether you put them on the right way or the wrong way and I'm, I'm over here reaching for the button and I'm like wow why is it that you know it's not turning on I'm hitting the power button and so I, I just found the button configuration to be a little confusing and it sort of became a pain point when I would try to work out I just felt like I had to I had to think too hard to get things to work and headphones are supposed to be easy you pair them put them on and you play that's it and so that was a con there were even a couple of times where I had some issues with pairing where you know that's one of the tough parts about not having a dedicated on off switch so on the other models for example the Infinium line there is a dedicated on off button and the way those headphones work is when you turn it on it automatically it gives you like three or five seconds where it'll try to pair to a device you've already paired it to and if not it automatically goes into pairing mode now with this one you actually have to hold down on one of the buttons to get it to turn on and you know it just I don't know it, it wasn't as smooth as previous experiences so I was sort of torn with the overall experience um, but to wrap things up pros and cons were through the waist I would say these headphones are definitely worth it for a, a active fitness person this is going to be um, a really nice again addition because this little piece right here is going to make it so that they don't fall off your head a lot um, they're going to keep it on your head the, the retractable earbuds that literally you can just pull out and then just pull them again to get them to retract back like you're going to love that feature because it's going to uh, take that extra step of having to reach for the button and hit it so this headphone they, they do a lot right um, I feel like there's room for improvement and I feel like one or two more buttons would definitely uh, alleviate a lot of the extra confusion that was created just because of simplifying the button so uh, overall uh, I do like these headphones I do use them a lot and I would recommend them and I hope that this video was informative and definitely gave you some good information. Um, so thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share and keep watching. We're going to keep reviewing headphones because I love Bluetooth headphones. So we'll always have more videos to come and appreciate your view. Take care and have a good one.